here we are with my master Richard M. Gibbon. Uh, we still know that he's still uh, unable to, he's disabled, he's on crutches right now. But what we're going to try to do is get him to uh, uh, answer some questions about Wing Chun uh, hand techniques. Now, Siku, uh, the Pak Sao. Pak Sao. The what? Pak Sao. Pak Sao. Pak Sao? Pak Sao, yes. Oh, oh Pak Sao. Pak Sao? Yes, sir. The yes. slapping hand. Yes, yes, Pak Sao. Pak Sao. What would the ideal range and what part of the. Oh, gracias. What part of the. Uh, on the uh, <laughs> forearm is it ideal to uh, slap the hand? Or slap the arm? What part? What now? What would be an ideal time or well, place where to slap the or box out the what range of the arm or what uh, do you want to do it when you're at close quarters or from far away? What would be the ideal uh, area of the arm where you would slap the uh, the box out? Well, the ideal the ideal box out would be where. Slap the hand out the way. You right. push it out the way. But uh, and you're not just <coughs> you're not just blocking, but you're slapping the arm away from you, right? You're pushing, pushing it away. You're not blocking. You know, you're not blocking. Blocking is force on force. Pushing is pushing away. Blocking is force to force, like in a karate. So called Sudan Soto Uke. You're blocking, but karate has no blocks. They're joint locks. That's a different story. But for Wing Chun, a paksao is a very simple maneuver. That's why you find it in the first form here. You find it here, up yes. to the shoulder. It's not way up here. Here. Come back. Sideward palm, and then you turn. These are all important components of a Wing Chun. So, for example, if you were to punch, right? Am I gonna just patty cake, patty cake it there? No, I wanna slap the well. I don't wanna, make, I don't wanna curse no more. So, if, is it? You know, the problem is a lot of people in Wing Chun they practice. Pops out against a straight line punch. But what happens when they start coming at you with all kinds of techniques? The street fighter don't know nothing about chain punches. Most of them. They're gonna come at you with all under all kinds of jump. So then the same thing with karate people. They practice blocking against a reverse punch. And then they get into the ridiculous stance coming back here, and then they attack like this. Who in the hell does that? in a real street fight. These things are important, don't get me wrong. They're to teach you concepts and concrete blocks of information in Karate and the other one in Wing Chun. But you are not a slave to the style or the system. You have your own brain to work with. This is what these guys don't understand. This, for example, let's say a belt. Some guys want to make a big thing of hey, getting 10 stripes on their black belt. The other guy is going to promote this guy, and the other guy is going to promote the other guy. What the hell is that? Now, that has nothing to do with self defense. <clears throat> so, if your punch is attacking me, let's say, for example, throw a punch. Am I going to slap it there? Get closer? I'm going to go there. I'm going to go right behind the elbow. Because at the elbow, that's where I'm going to make sure you cannot, you cannot give me a back. By the time I slap here, I'm going to break, break your elbow. Or I'm going to sure put a dent in your, in your elbow, you won't be able to pick it up again. That is Paksao. Paksao is to disable the opponent. Lose your hands and hire me, I'm out of the With one slap. It's so far to drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been there for years. I mean, I've got to stand a few With one slap. Thank you, Seaman.